Today we're going to take a look at the inputs for the SCORE Financial Projections template. We'll start here at the starting point, number one. This is where you enter your initial expenses, your startup expenses, to get the business up and running. You'll find that most of the items here will work very well for a relatively simple company. However, I suggest that you consider looking at an alternate spreadsheet which is found directly below the SCORE Financial Projections template on the SCORE.org website, and that would be the Startup Expenses spreadsheet, which is separate from the big spreadsheet that we'll be discussing more fully. This spreadsheet gives you more definition for each of the categories and makes it a little easier to make sure you get all of your potential expenses uh, listed, and then you can transpose them manually over to the big spreadsheet. Be sure to read the instructions. Now that we're back on the SCORE Financial Projections spreadsheet, and let's move on to the Additional Inputs page, number four. Under Additional Inputs, you'll find Accounts Receivable first. Here, If you're a cash business, paid within 30 days, everything will be 100% year one, two, and three. That is your cash collections. If you provide credit for your customers, then you would receive some of the cash after 30 days and some of the cash after 60 days. Just ensure that the total adds up to 100%. Same for accounts payable. Will you be paying cash as you buy inventory or other supplies? If so, paid within 30 days would be 100%, and paid within 30 and 60 days would be 0%. This may change over time as your company uh, gains a a foothold in the industry and is able to receive credit from suppliers. Uh, This is where you make the adjustments. Now, in addition to that, you see the category Additional Fixed Assets Purchases. Here you might purchase additional equipment, say in month six, and here's where you would enter it and it would become integrated with the rest of the uh, spreadsheet. Um, Most of you won't have to spend a lot of time on the income tax assumptions. And and lastly is the amortization of startup costs. You'll want to confer with your tax advisor on this. It starts with a period of three years. Now, moving on down to 6A, cash flow year one. There's a potential adjustment here for additional inventory. Month one, you start with the inventory that was your startup cost inventory. However, you may want to add more inventory in month six, or you may want to sell down inventory after building it up, say for a holiday season, if you are going to sell down the inventory at a negative number. The spreadsheet assumes that you are always replacing the inventory like for like with what you sell and not adding or subtracting an inventory unless you make an adjustment on this part of the input section in 6A. So that's it for inputs part one. To learn about making inputs with respect to sales forecasts and more, be sure to check out part two.